Let's be honest, we're gonna be hurting for a while off of this one. Regardless of what you thought of Kobe Bryant, you gotta pay your respects to him as a hooper and a man alike. And on the court, one thing he'll be remembered for most is his post game. It was all poetry in motion. So I'm gonna break it all down for you. Honestly, I don't even expect you guys to apply this to your own game like I normally do. If you do, power to you. But I mainly just want you to appreciate the beauty that was Kobe's game. So first, Kobe was very unique in how he used hops in the post to give him some options. See how he's constantly bouncing like this? This gives him a continuous chance to make any move. He can explode out of any of these into a spin or a turnaround, like right here. One key here is that he synchronizes his dribbles and his footwork. Notice how when his feet hit the ground, the ball is being pounded. This not only gives him some rhythm, but helps him be efficient as he explodes out of the hop. In terms of reads, the first thing Kobe does is obviously feel for the defender slightly to one side or the other. Right, so he reads the defender's shift here very slightly and takes advantage of it. But if they're even and straight behind him, it seemed like he felt for which arm is leaning on him and generally turned and attacked that side. Alright, so why is this? Look how D-Wade is kind of leaning into that arm. So it's hard for him to stay with Kobe when he turns that way. And then again here, Kobe feels his hand on him, so he eventually turns that way. Another key to these setups is keeping a wide base. This keeps him in a low, stable position. And also keeps him in a position to be able to turn either way. Four, with three, with two on the clock. Probably one of the most impressive parts about any of these were the body positions that Kobe could get himself into. Whether it's a great acceleration shin angle with his body at a very impressive angle. A strong but mobile lateral deceleration. He was such a robust athlete. Plus I've never seen a shooting guard get such good low post position. Just watch how much he works to get down low close to the rim. With Chicago. And even if he doesn't get low position, that contact will get his defender moving backwards, giving him the opportunity to fade away from him. He also times it very well. Watch how he waits till Anderson is back on his heels and then turns around for the shot. And when you create that contact and turn, your defender will be rushing to recover, leaving that pump fake to be even more effective. And speaking of the pump fake, he always jumped off of two feet, leaving that pump fake open. At any moment, you wouldn't be able to tell whether it was a pump fake or a jumper. Just look at the way the pump fake comes all the way over his head to sell it so realistically. Alright, so back to getting open. Sometimes he'd sell that shimmy hard with his entire body to shift his defender. Sometimes when his defender's pretty even behind him, it'll just be a very discreet shimmy. This will more so freeze his defender and leave him guessing as to which shoulder he's going to turn over. Plus, the shimmy helps him push into the turnaround. See how when he shimmies his knee and hip flex, allowing him to slightly push off of that into the turnaround. And another thing is speed changes. You don't think about it much in terms of the post, but being able to slow down like you see right here and then quickly turn around really catches the defender off guard. He also had insane ability to make hanging shots. Not only did this give him the ability to hang until he's more open like here, but also stay in the air a little bit longer to stabilize his jumper. He also had the talent to bring that shot up on the side of his body to avoid that contest. See how the defender is swiping down, he's able to easily avoid it. And then finally, he was so aware. He always turned his head before he turned his body and exposed the ball, which gave him an extra millisecond to read and protect that ball. It's details like this that truly made Kobe Bryant the absolute legend that he was and still is to this day. Thank you so much for watching. Let's continue to live out Kobe's legacy forever.